It's not an anniversary that I'd like to be celebrating. Thousands of protesters have taken to the streets to mark the 8th anniversary of the same-sex marriage ban. I'd like to be going to an anniversary party tonight for my gay and lesbian friends who'd be celebrating their 8th wedding anniversary. Uh, it's about time the government woke up and realised that we're not hurting anybody. The ban has been in place since John Howard's Liberal government, with ALP support, amended the Marriage Act August 13th, 2004. National protests have taken place in August ever since, and this year Israelis have been buoyed by news that marriage bills will be finally be put to federal parliament and that Tasmanian and South Australian governments will legislate at a state level for equal marriage rights if the federal laws fail. This is a fantastic turnout. So we're out here today to send a message that we're opposing these laws and we want them to change the Marriage Act. Let me tell you, it is worth it because you are building up the pressure so much to the point that I feel absolutely confident that sometime soon the damn wall is about to burst. It wasn't that many years ago that someone like me was a criminal in my own state because I was in a relationship with another man. And I could have gone to jail for 21 years. And when I came out and I found out about that, it was almost impossible for me to imagine the day when I might be able to marry my male partner. Exchanging vows today. 40 couples took part in same-sex wedding ceremonies as part of Midsummer Vows in Melbourne. Eight couples married in Adelaide. The call for a conscience vote amongst the Liberal Party I find quite ironic. How do you give a conscience, a conscience vote to people without one? They continue to demonstrate that they have no social conscience. They continue to base their policies on hatred and division. Rally on November the 26th, and I want to see you all there. Who's going to be there?